this video we're going to do more derivatives of exponential functions with the chain rule. So we're going to jump straight into some examples. What is the derivative of f of x is equal to e to the power of 5x plus 3? Now in our previous video on doing the derivatives of exponential functions, we were given this rule. If y is equal to e to the power of x, then its derivative is also going to be equal to e to the power of x. But here we have a function in a different form, e to the power of 5x plus 3. So what we're going to do in this example is use the chain rule. Remember that the chain rule is a trick of substitution. So what we're going to do is we're going to substitute u is equal to 5x plus 3 into the expression. And then we're going to get f of u is equal to e to the power of u. Now the chain rule says that df by dx, what we're really looking for, the derivative of f with respect to x, will be equal to di f by di u times du by dx. So di f by di u is doing the derivative of this part right here. So f of u is equal to e to the power of u, therefore f prime of u would also be equal to e to the power of u by our derivative rule for y is equal to e to the power of x, then its derivative is also e to the power of x. Now the second part of the chain rule is doing du by dx. Now if u is equal to 5x plus 3, then u prime is going to be equal to 5. The derivative of 5x is 5, and the derivative of 3 is 0. So putting this all together, I get my di f by di u, this part right here, e to the power of u, times the derivative du by dx, it's 5. And I get 5 times e to the power of, now we need to substitute our expression for u back in, so this is going to be 5x plus 3. So f prime of x is equal to 5 times e to the power of 5x plus 3. Now something that's neat about employing the chain rule when we have exponential functions is that we're always going to have e to the power of u subbing in for this exponent. And the derivative of e to the power of u is always going to be e to the power of u. So what we do is we write a generalized form of this chain rule. So if y is equal to e to some function of x, in this case it was 5x plus 3, then the derivative becomes e to the power of that function of x times du by dx. This is the di f by di u portion it's always going to be e to the power of u. So we can rewrite this as a general form as shown here, and this is what's going to be shown in your formula sheet. It is the chain rule, but you don't always have to go through the tedious process of thinking through it with all the steps of the chain rule. You can simply take your original derivative times the derivative of whatever is in the exponent. Let's illustrate the ease of this with another example. Example 2. What is the derivative of f of x is equal to 3x squared plus 10? So we have our original exponential rule, but this is not going to apply because we have a more complicated function of x as our exponent. It's not just e to the power of x, it's e to the power of 3x squared plus 10. Instead, we're going to use the chain rule as listed right here. So our derivative, f prime of x, is going to be equal to, first I write e to the power of ux as it's originally provided. So this is simply e to the power of 3x squared plus 10, our original function, times, now this second part here, du by dx, is simply the derivative of this exponent. We call this exponent the u term. So it's the derivative of 3x squared plus 10 
So the derivative of 3x squared is going to be 6x, and the derivative of 10 is 0, so I'm just going to leave it as 6x. So I get my final answer is f prime of x is equal to 6x e to the power of 3x squared plus 10. And using the chain rule can really be brought to just a couple of steps. Now I have one more example with another twist. Now this is our last example. What is the derivative of f of x is equal to 15 to the power of x? So our derivative rule is for y is equal to e to the power of x. But this is 15 to the power of x, so this is not going to work. So what do we need to do? Well, we're going to have to manipulate this to get it in the form of e to the power of x. And it's going to be through some logarithms in our exponent. Recall that a value y is going to be equal to e to the power of ln of y. So I want to convert 15 as our y value to be equal to e to the power of something. It's going to be e to the power of ln of 15. That's what 15 is equal to. So I'm going to use this relationship to manipulate my function and bring it to a base of e. So I'm going to have f of x is equal to now 15 is actually e to the power of ln of 15. So this is the same as 15. And this is 15 to the power of x. So I'm going to raise that all to the power of x. So remembering my exponent rule, if I have x to the power of a all raised to the power of b, this is the same as x to the power of a b. So I can multiply the exponents. Now using this for my expression here, I'm going to have e to the power of ln of 15 all raised to the power of x. So I can multiply these two exponents. It's going to be x ln of 15. Now I have my expression written as e to the power of some function of x. Now I can't use the rule here. But what I can do is use the chain rule that we looked at in the last two examples. If y is equal to some function of x, then the derivative becomes e to the power of that original function of x. So in this case, x ln of 15 times du by dx. Now this is going to be my u. So I do the derivative of that x times ln of 15. Remember that ln of 15 is a constant. So that just gets left alone times a derivative of x. The derivative of x is simply 1. So this gives me f prime of x is equal to ln of 15 all times e to the power of x ln of 15. And that is my final answer. Changing the base using a logarithm. A little bit tricky, but nothing that we can't manage with enough practice.